So listen closely because this engine noise you're about to hear That engine noise <laughs> is not real. It's a fake engine noise. Now, those of you that are familiar with these cars, the 86 platform, the whole fake engine noise is nothing new for the 2022 cars, the Subaru BRZ and the GR86. In the previous generation cars, they actually did have a fake engine noise or an augmented engine noise, but it was all mechanical. It was in the form of a tube that was piped in from the intake on the front of the car into the cabin. So you actually heard intake noise, actual intake noise from the engine bay pumped into the car, boosted up the engine noise just a little bit. But for 2022, stepped it up a notch the sound is a lot more augmented in fact now in the new cars it's actually an electronic augmented engine noise so it has an actual speaker it has an augmented sound controller an actual control module that plays the audio of the engine revving over that little speaker in sync with the engine revs on the car when you're accelerating and shifting through the gears now what we're going to do in this video is actually show you how to disable that augmented sound controller. There's a couple ways you can do it. The dealer can do it via software, but you gotta take it into your dealer and hopefully find a dealer that knows how to do it. Or you can do it yourself by simply unplugging the sound controller in the car, which will show you how to do that in just a moment. And once we do that, of course, we're gonna show you the difference in the sound and actually what I think of the augmented sound of the engine noise versus the non-augmented sound or the natural engine noise that the 2.4 liter boxer engine makes. And if I'm gonna be honest, right off the bat, the augmented sound that they developed for the car, it actually sounds pretty dang good. we're gonna go ahead and go to the passenger side of the car that's where we can find the ASC controller where we can unplug it from the car and we'll turn the camera around here so the connector where the controller is is located right behind this plastic panel here down on the bottom of the panel there's a little notch where you can get a finger underneath or a plastic tool like the one I have here we're just gonna stick it in there and kind of pry away at the panel. And off it falls. And if we bring a little bit of light in there, you can actually see the active sound control box right back in there. This guy right here, that is your active sound controller. I've been calling it augmented sound control. Same thing, active sound controller, adaptive sound controller, whatever you wanna call it. It's the ASC controller and the plug is right down there on the bottom of it. You can see the little white clip. And there's actually a release button on it on this side. So all you have to do is push and kind of pull it down at the same time. And there we go, out pops the connector and it kind of just dangles in there. You can see it, I'll pull it over to the side here. So there's our active sound control connector. You can just tuck this back there, or if you intend to leave it disconnected, you might want to zip tie it to one of the holes or one of these wires. This is actually my dash cam cable that I installed previously that fits down in this area nicely. To put the panel back on, you just kind of slip it back up into place. And you'll notice there are these little tabs that go into the various holes on the dashboard. So Put it back in just how you took it out snap it into place goes together super easy but now the active sound control is disconnected so now we can jump back in the gr86 take it for a spin with the active sound controller disconnected hear how it sounds just raw engine noise and compare that to how it sounded with that fake engine noise with the active sound controller connected I'm hoping that the audio comes through good enough for you guys to be able to tell the difference as well. But of course, I'll give you my thoughts and my impressions, but let's jump back in the car and get started with it. 
All right, so back on the road in the car, the active sound controller is disconnected. Cruising at low speeds, I don't really hear any difference. I think the active sound controller was really programmed to kind of come in at the mid and higher RPM ranges just to generate that extra race car sound or a high revving engine sound. So we'll see once we turn onto a main street where we can actually accelerate and get onto it a little bit more. All right, we got some clear road. We'll go ahead and let it rip here. Oh, you can actually tell the difference quite a lot. It's, uh, wow, it's different. It's not as loud, obviously, uh, as with the sound controller connected as you can expect but you really kind of hear the real engine noise which is cool i haven't heard you know what the engine sounds like up until this point with the with the fake engine noise it kind of drowns out the true engine note so that was actually really cool and that was the first time i've really put the pedal down and floored it without the active sound control connected I don't know, now my <laughs> first impression of no active sound control, I know earlier I said I liked the active sound control, but now with it disconnected and hearing the true engine noise and the true exhaust note, the true revving of that 2.4 liter boxer engine, it sounds super good. Honestly, now I'm kind of disappointed <laughs> that they have the active sound controller because it takes away that true engine noise that we love to hear, even though that active sound control or the fake engine noise does sound good in its own right. All right, we're gonna turn it around here and do another one. That was not what I was expecting. I was expecting it to be super quiet. Couldn't really hear anything. I mean, the old cars, when they were bone stock, they were pretty quiet. You didn't hear much going on from the engine or the exhaust note, but this is, uh, it's nice. We'll get on it here. sounds sweet I almost want to plug it back in and go for another drive just to have my ear hear it again because <laughs> it's just a yeah it's just a different type of sound both good in their own way but yeah it's kind of hard to explain hopefully it comes over good on the audio jump back into the garage and kind of collect my thoughts here and wrap the video up. So fake engine noise or real engine noise, I wanna know what you all think. So leave your thoughts and comments down below. For me, I'm keeping the active sound controller or the fake engine noise disconnected. While I did like the fake engine noise, it did sound good, it sounded real, but in the end, it just didn't compare to the true engine noise coming from that 2.4 liter boxer engine. And without disconnecting it, you really can't tell what the difference is. So I'm glad I disconnected it, tried it out. We're gonna stick with it like that. And we also have a new exhaust system to install on the car. It's sitting over here in a box. It's been sitting there for a few months, actually. I bought it before I even had my GR86. So we've got the exhaust system. We're gonna install that very soon. And of course, get some stock exhaust sounds with the current stock system and then compare it to the new exhaust note that we get from the new exhaust system. So thanks again, everybody for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Stick around. Like I said, we've got more good stuff coming up for the GR86. The project is just beginning. And if you haven't already, please consider hitting that subscribe button down below. Turn on your notifications if you wanna stay up to date with all our content here at the BTR Garage. Stay safe out there, everybody. I am checking out. We'll talk to you all next time.